you're watching another video by Newton Abbey's 28. You may not recognise where I am. Uh, I'm about to reveal where. This is Dunragget Level Crossing in Dumfries and Galloway. This one is located just outside Stranraer. There will be no trains running the whole time I'm here because there was a fire incident at Air Station. But I'll just do an intro anyway. So you've got your LED wigwags up here. With your very, very old yodel arm up here. And the SPX rail system back, this is new. It was made on the 3rd of July, 2022. 700 kilograms MK2. Wooden crossing plants worn out trespass. But no one, oh yeah, there is no worn out trespass guy. This is Scotland, not Northern Ireland. Um, you've got another set of LED wigwags up here. There's Dunragget signal box. It's still in use, by the way. Still in use, but it's not open today. Hasn't been open since November, at least. Get your LED wigwag up here. Look at how old this yule arm is. It's black. It's black, yeah. And then you've got this barrier, which was made on the 3rd of August, 2022, by SPX, 700 kilograms MK2, with your wooden crossing plant. There's the sign for Dunragget signal cabin. There's my dad lighting across it. That's inside the signal cabin in there. Your LED wigwags are over here. By the way, if you're wondering, it's so dark, it's only 6.25 in the morning. I'm, I've only decided to come here because, as I said, there's no trains running, but I thought I would come here anyway just to get this one done. Next time I'm in Scotland, I'm definitely filming an activation because I should be going in May sometime because in May, uh, I plan to go to Scotland again, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next crossing. We're going to go up to Ayrshire this time. So I'll see you there. This is our next location, Kilcarran in South Ayrshire. We're going to be... Oh, I'm not going to do intros, by the way. I just did an intro for Dunragget because I'm not going to be filming the train here. But I will be filming a freight movement coming past this crossing. So I'll see you whenever the crossing goes down. I just got news from uh, a good friend of mine um, that... That... MPV that was due to come here is now cancelled. Oh, it has been cancelled and I didn't know, but... Yeah, you know, just wasted an hour here. Anyway, I guess that was just... I guess I'll just do an intro for this crossing now, so... All I have to say, signal box, four LED wigwags, two yodel alarms, four SPX barriers. That's it. It'll be the same for the next crossing too. I'm very sorry about this, guys. Our third level crossing is Belmont. We can't film a train here because this entire line is completely closed. But I can do an intro. This is an MCB CCTV crossing. No, it's not. It's just MCB. But it has crossing clear signs. No more information on these barriers, are there? But... I do know that they're SPX wheel systems barriers. All installed around 2016. Get your Unipart real LED wigwag. All around here. Did you notice as well that these two barriers here are slightly shorter than these long ones? Because it's got like a little arm in there. See, I'm not able to film here either. Because this is another one. Another crossing, the line between Air and Stranraer. So we have to move on. This is the last one, though, on the Air to Stranraer line. And it's also, well, I suppose I've got photos of the every level crossing in South Ayrshire. I can't film at Gatehead either, and I'm about to go there next. So on we go. This is our fourth location. This is Gatehead level crossing in East Ayrshire. This is the only level crossing of the East Ayrshire as well. You may notice on that side there are miniature pedestrian lights there. Oh, on this side too. You've got them on here. Your wigwags keep crossing clear. This is a half barrier crossing this time. Uh, made on the 19th of June 2019. 700 kilograms of K2. Good crossing plants. There's a SPX barrier too. And then we'll actually have to look inside the phone. My left hand set and press button to call Kilmarnock signal box. 
If no reply, either across telephone contact network rail, location Gatehead LC, grid reference NC 392 364, mileage 2 miles 1320 yards. And you've got your phonetic alphabet in there too. This is uh, on uh, the line between Irvine at, or Irvine and Kilmarnock. That way's towards Irvine, that way's towards Kilmarnock. Um, so yeah, I'm not able to film here either due to see a similar issue, even though this is not on the Erdiston Rar line like the last three were. Well, I forgot to just tell you where Belmont was. It's in Airtown in South Ayrshire. Should have said that in the last clip. But yeah, all I can do is get photos here. The next crossing though should give me luck. So we'll go to it now. This is our fifth location, which is Gales in North Ayrshire. Here's our crossing information here. I have to do this really, really quickly. Gales have a crossing information, your uh, barrier with the information on it, LEDs with E2, no, with Yoda arms actually. I thought I had E2S, but turns out it doesn't. Not sure if I'm like to continue to show. And then this, the phone. I'm not going to read it out. West of Scotland. Damn it. Now here we are at Stevenston Station level crossing in North Ayrshire. We've got six big wags here, which is good to see. And we've also got very old barriers too. Here's your information on here. And oh god, look at this. Stevenston LC signal box is there. There's a sign for Stevenston Station. And uh, this is the station here, with Yodel Arms, Yodel Arms there, and there. I, th I think that's where all the Yodel Arms are as well. So yeah, um, there's going to be a train pass in about five minutes, so I'll be back then. That, folks, is why you should never run the risk at level crossings. Time now is 11.23 on Friday the 16th of February 2024, and this is for your 11.25 to Tango 09 Scotrail service from Glasgow Central to Largs. Since I'm not familiar with the area, I don't actually know which direction it's coming from, but I think it's that way. Crossing sort of like Coleraine in the in the sense that it has six wigwags, but still has four barriers. They're fairly old, like 2002, I think they were made. I didn't know we got Optair Solo SRs in Scotland. I only thought we had these in Northern Ireland, but turns out not. Check that way. No, nope, nothing. Good try. That way maybe has something. So it could be down a while. Oh yeah, I see a Scott Rail 380 over there.
We're coming that side. Wait, that might not be a 380. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the Scott Rail livery or any network rail livery. I don't live on this island. Yes, it's a 380. 380 002. It's large. Similar to, it sort of looks similar to the NIR Class 4000. I don't know why, but I'm sort of getting those vibes. Yeah, we're going to go here. having a late race. There's nothing else to do. Unless maybe there's something not there. Nope. It's gone. Of course it's looking up. There's nothing else to do. Those bars need replaced. Like, soon. I'll have to stand back a bit, I think. So that I'm out of the way. And I'm closer to the car. He's playing up tricks or something. I'll just check if anything else is due. Oh, yes, the 1128, um, two Tango 10, Scott Rail service from Largs to Glasgow Central is also due. Something else due. <laughs> So yeah, the 1128 is due as well. From that way, because it's inverse from Glasgow Central. Delayed a minute, I think. I am looking at the timetable correctly. It should have passed or should have stopped at Stevenson at 11.28 and a half. It hasn't. It is now 11.29. Well, 11.30 in about 10 seconds. I expect me to get a double stay, either. Should be a 380 
coming in any second now. There we go. Oh, this is more than one carriage. So it's going to be quite a lot here. Three eighty zero one four. Zero six four and three eight one one five to Glasgow Central. No, we should be going up. Okay. Mm. Now our next crossing is Ardrossan Town. No, no, Ardrossan Princess Street in North Ayrshire. This is an. AFBCL crossing, so it works exactly the same way as an MCB CCTV crossing, although the alarms keep sounding after the barriers go up and down. So this crossing has E2S alarms, four E2S alarms, so I'm expecting this crossing to be quite loud. Um, SPX barriers, we've got pedestrian lights too. This crossing used to be uh, an AOCL that had been upgraded in a 2012, I think. So yeah, there's a train due in five minutes. I will come back then. That was dead. That one's dead as well. There's only one working alarm here, that's weird. This is our last crossing in Ayrshire. This is Ardrossan Harbour in, yeah, in, as you know, in North Ayrshire. Not too far from Ardrossan Princess Street. This is an AOCL plus B crossing. This also used to be half, uh, no barriers up until these barriers came in in 2019. So this has LED pedestrian lights as well as wigwags. There's a number to contact in case of an emergency. There's a yield alarm at the top. There's another U alarm on that side as well. They're both SPX uh, plates. There's Ardross and Harbour Station. That's the terminus. And there's also an Asda over there. So if you're feeling a bit peckish, that's your place to go. This is your ideal crossing. My, my dad and my stepmom and my little brother are, down, are gonna go down there later after I film this next train, which is due in 10 minutes. So I'll see you then.
Our next crossing is Moss Road in Argyll and Butte. It's a half barrier crossing with E2S alarms and SPX barriers. I'm not going to go over because there's a train due in literally one minute. It's a double track line, so, well, we're not getting a double stay, but there could be a chance if we're ever here in the future. Probably not, because I'm only planned on here once. Anyway, this is, this is the train now coming. Our next crossing is Ardmore East, also in Argyll and Butte, not far from Moss Road, which is where we just were. Um, this crossing also has E2S alarms and is also half barrier crossing. It's pretty much exactly the same layout as Moss Road, although it's in a slightly different location. And if I go inside the phone, it be really quick, so we just left Card Ross, which is where we're bound for next. Um, yeah. Right. The next train is about to come now. Now we come to Cardross level crossing in Argyll and Butte. This is the last one I need in Argyll and Butte to film. So this is also a two barrier crossing. This time it is an MCB, so it's full barriers, even despite having two, despite that, the road being quite thin. I can do an intro to this one because there's nothing due for about 20 minutes. There's a LEDs and the cracked yield alarm there. Uh, but 3rd of February 2013, 700 kilograms MK2. Oh yeah, the bar is on the same side, this is weird. 3rd of April 2013. That you learn's fine, that. And then if I go over here, this is a sign for Cardross Station. Uh, on either side, here and here. This is crossing number 11, I believe, but crossing number seven that I've seen activated today because the one at Dunragat and the two in South Ayrshire and the one in East Ayrshire never activated because I was dumb enough to forget that there were no trains running on any of those lines. But fortunately, there are trains running on this one. Also, before I end this clip, did any of you guys notice uh, the dodgy E2S alarm at Moss Road? No, Ardmore East. I did, it sounded, it had like a sort of French fire alarm tone or something. Anyway, I'll stop talking and here comes the last clip. I haven't done a lot earlier than I thought it would. Time now is 15.29 on Friday the 16th of February 2024 and this is for your 15.32 to Hotel 46 Scott Rail Service from Helensburg Central to Edinburgh. So 
we should be coming this way. I apologize, I do apologize for a bit of a late start, by the way. Um, I sort of got distracted. So that's why I may have missed the amber. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check the footage after. But this, I don't know if I said in the last clip, this might be the last crossing I do today, depending if I get, depending on whether my dad wants to do North Lanarkshire with me later. There's only three. There's Greenfoot, Heatherbell, and the one with no lights, Logan's Road, which is located in the town of Motherwell. But if you are a sad dork and, or, or nerd, in my case, and watch uh, level crossing videos constantly, you will already know that fact. I do feel your pain though. I've spent seem, uh, countless amount of hours doing this sort of thing. Hence why I'm very prepared. Mostly. I mean, I wasn't prepared for the earlier events of this morning. The fact that we missed four crossing activations because of some idiots who burnt down the station at air. Like, no, no, you could not have possibly predicted that. But anyways, the train should be here any second. Yep, there it is. It'll be the return of what we've seen at Moss Road. Three three four oh two seven. Three three four zero two seven and three three four zero three zero two Edinburgh. Yep, go on. Raise yourself, man. Please. There must be another train here or something. Let's check to see. Um, is there something else due? Oh yes, uh, the 1537 to Hotel 09, Scotland service from Edinburgh to Helensburgh Central. I think that's it there. No it isn't, that's just the Edinburgh train department. Where's my dad? There's my stepmom, there's my little brother over there. Just enjoying a view of the River Clyde. It's something we don't often get to see because we're not on Britain. Just like we did at Stevenson, this could result in quite a long closure. Might be longer than what we got at Stevenston, actually. Let's see if it's coming yet. I'm not going up to the platform because there's people out there who sort of have those dodgy vibes, so I'm not going to go over. If you're watching this, I'm sorry if it offended you, but you know not to trust strangers, right? Yeah. If I go this side, maybe, I'll probably be able to get a better view. Here, oh, here. I've got a good photo idea. Cry draw station sign and the level crossing flashing in the distance so if i just go like that that is looking well but snazzy that could deserve to be a new profile picture sometime 
Though it would be a bit misleading to the viewers because they think I'm Scottish, but I'm not. I do sound... No, as Northern Irish people do have a bit of a Scottish twang, but we're not from Scotland. We have Scottish roots there. Well, my family does at least. All right, yeah, I made the right choice not to go platform two. Or platform one. Because it is, well, dodgy. I like doing these Scottish crossings. The view, most of the views in Art Island View, oh, all three actually, are quite scenic. Uh, we don't get that often over in Northern Ireland. All we get is um, industrial buildings or flat and marshy land. I mean, who wants to see that? <laughs> Come on. Unless you're doing like a documentary, I can understand why, but... If you genuinely want to see stuff like that, you're weird. Okay, there's a fight going on at Cardraw Station. I'm very, very glad I didn't go over. Shit, I've been spotted. I think I'll just stand back in case they come over. Which they won't because they're training through any second. There it is! I will stand back to my original, well, not my original, that was my original position. I'll stand back to my other position so that you can see the train. Yeah, this is definitely going to be longer than it was at Stevenston. I can, there's no doubt about that, to be fair. But I can hear a 3.30, I think it's a 3.30? Yeah, I think I can hear a 3.30 in the distance. By the way, guys, I hope my commentary is good enough to make the video less boring because <laughs> not very many people like watching these so I add commentary in them to try and spice things up you know <laughs> it doesn't end up working oh it's a 334 right. that's 334032 I'm probably going to get flipped off by those teenagers, but I don't care. I get flipped off all the time, so. It doesn't even matter how you. I can't really say that now because I'm not in Northern Ireland, but. No, it feels weird because this is my first ever time in Britain. It feels like a life changing thing, but not really. But anyway, there we go. Three two and three three four zero one nine to Helensburg Central. 